Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing a walk around on this uh, newly acquired uh, Arrow Rooms, uh, the Arrow Apartment Hotel, a neon sign. I uh, just picked this up at the uh, salvage yard. The building where it hung was on 16th and coming, uh, and that got torn down. The building got torn down about uh, maybe 10 years ago. But um, I did find a uh, picture of it on the uh, Durham Museum archives. Uh, in the distance, it's um, small, hard, kind of hard to see, but it uh, reads Arrow Apartment or Arrow APT Hotel. So, uh, general impressions. Uh, you know, it's an old, it's at least 50 years old because that, that photo was in uh, 1968. So, well, 51 at least. Um, clearly it's been uh, kind of restyled because, you know, we have uh, old covered up uh, housing holes, several of them. They kind of re, uh, changed the what the, the face of the sign red. Um, you can see uh, through the paint a little bit. There's there are layers uh, like this. You can see an A and an E, R and an O right here where that used to say arrow. Uh, and underneath you can I. I think I can kind of pick out uh, a little bit. Uh, you, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. I, I see in uh, this. This is where I start. An A, A would be here. Um, there's faint lines right here. Ooh, well, I hope so if you can see it. <laughs> faint lines of an E looks like right here. So I, um, it, it'll take a little bit of, uh, maybe I'll overlay a, uh, a photo on, onto it to kind of, to pick out a little bit. Again, I, I see, I don't, you can probably see it faintly here. It looks like there's an outline of an E under there uh, on the layers. Uh, I think I maybe see a, a P right here. And hint of a T uh, right here where it is, maybe up here you see it. Uh, it it's really hard to uh, to see, but uh, and uh, I think they may have added some more housings later um, due to the restyling. But um, anyway, this uh, was taken down, like I said, about a decade ago maybe, and it's been hanging out at the salvage yard since, and I uh, stopped down there and uh, struck up a deal. Get it, uh, get it here and working on the uh, restoration. It's got a little bit of uh, denting right there on the corner, not too terrible. You can probably pop that out pretty easily in a bracket, no big deal there. Looks like someone at some point had, they had, uh, we're messing with a wiring here. Not sure. They decided instead of trying to go through the door, they would just cut their own door. That obviously was back when they still had the neon tubing on it. It's probably been a decade since that happened. Many, many years. Anyway, um, I do see some uh, some traces of colors. I'm not sure which ones are original. Um, you can see some black coming through the green there. Over here, it's uh, interesting. Little shades of color. Hang on, let me get a light. Uh, and we can see uh, this kind of a turquoise here. Some red underneath this black. Uh, more turquoise here and uh, some yellow down here in green yellow and green so looks 
like the same up here, turquoise. Green, I hit a yellow there on the angle bracket. So, let's see, I see some, I can focus on it. Hint of a uh, turquoise coming out, coming out here, maybe. Some black. Red peeking out. So, um, be kind of a investigation to see what we can find for colors, since of course that uh, photo is black and white. Um, but uh, anyway, let's uh, get these doors off, access panels, see if uh, what we can find inside for transformers or any other relics that may be hiding. I'll. Uh, Put you down for a minute and get this uh, the screws out. All right, I got the uh, screws loosened here, but I didn't take a look inside because I like a surprise. Uh, let's see what uh, we got in here. Oh, looks like we got some uh, housing. Pieces of housings, uh, ceramic pass through, a bit of a tube. That has, looks like it has some phosphor on it. That could give us a, a, a hint of what uh, color the tube was. Transformer back in there. Go to the other side, see if we can get a closer look at that transformer. These larger doors are these big these are doors are bigger for uh, so you can get a transformer inside. I uh, see some more housing bits, uh, ceramic pass through, an old tube for uh, insulation, a uh, glass tube on the GTO, uh, the GTO is um, high voltage wiring. Yeah. Ah. So let's move it a bit up here, right there. insulates it from the high voltage wiring running down here maybe here or or over to that side there but these old transformers I often have a date on them and on that uh, info plate right there let's see if we can dust that off I'm gonna turn you sideways here get you in there since I cannot get in there. All right, what does it say? Can you tell me? Or crooked, or sideways. Jefferson Electric Luminous Tube Transformer. Twelve thousand volts. Thirty milliamps. Oh, right here. Yeah, right on the corner there. That's where the date code would be. I can't see anything, but I don't know if you can or not. Anyway. Got a, this is, see you on the wall there, uh, where they um, covered up the holes, the patches for the old housings. Look at all those. It's like a, it's like a housing graveyard back there. <laughs> There's 
ceramic pass through. All right. I don't see any cave paintings or anything in here on this top side, but let's uh, take a look at the bottom. Interesting. I guess another access point for wiring is the primary wires to the uh, transformer. And this is uh, going to be a high voltage pass through that ceramic ceramic high voltage pass through. All right. Well, on to the next one. Ooh, a little rusty in there. A little rusty in there. There's a bigger transformer back there. Looks like he's been jumping around. Oops, I suppose you might be able to see it. Can you see it? It's focusing on the cobwebs. There you go. Yeah. Oh, dead thing down there. Uh, See any cave paintings? Uh, cave paintings are, are you know writings, uh, scrawlings, um, measurements or notes from whoever constructed the sign. Well, here's some maybe. Yeah, some whatever these might be. Sometimes it's kind of hard to read or tell what they were. Maybe uh, cut lines or something. We got down here some more. Uh, oops, there's some more um, primary wiring. 110. I see some more GTO lying around. That transformer. Looks like it might be an Acme Electric. Let's see if I can drag that thing out of here. Ugh. Come here. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's all rusted out. Normally these are um, held in with uh, little um, feet, metal feet that uh, attach to something, you know, screwed down bolted to the can, but, uh, well, this is, that attach goes through the, to the top there. Let's, uh, this looks like an old Acme electric. But, let's see what it is. Oh no, maybe it's Jefferson. Jefferson, yeah. That's too crusty. It does say 12,000, I can read that much. There, 12, 12 kilovolt. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that looks a lot like these old crusty ones I got over here. Like this dude. Uh, it might be, might be a Jefferson Electric, but oh, I like that. more cave paintings. This is actually words here. What is this? Sipe. Sipe. Side. No. Yeah, I bet that's a side. Whoa. I think it says wall side. Yep. Wall side. Someone wrote a note to themselves. <laughs> That's cool. Let's go check out that angle from this other door. Well, over here. What is in here? 
A bunch of tetanus, maybe? Well, technical difficulties here. Uh, <laughs> That's where you can get to the wiring. Yeah, that's about what I expect. I uh, I don't know where this transformer was. Well, it would have been down by that larger door. Uh, that's where it would have been originally. That's why this run of GTO right here. That's why that run is so, so long. So it's an inter interesting uh, design, though, uh, with these these kind of top panels. Uh, it's kind of wedge shaped because um, it's kind of I don't know sit sitting uh, kind of tilted at the moment. But it, of course, would be hanging level on the building, so it's kind of like a angled up and angled down. So I'm gonna try if I see if I can get a date off of one of these transformers and uh, see if I can chip some of that dirt off and um, bring it back. See if, if we can get the date on it. All right, well, uh, this older one seems Jefferson Electric is kind of notorious for this. The, it should be right there. This is model. Of course, there's nothing, nothing stamped. I'm going to write the angle on it for you. Yeah, there's, there's just nothing there. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say this one's probably dated. Uh, it's probably be the, maybe the 60s on this one, maybe 70s. Jefferson Electric changed their name to Magnatech in the 80s, so um, it's not the 80s. Flashlights are dying. All right, check this out. I was looking up under here. See, it's kind of a grayish hue. That's uh, some paint overspray. And it looks like turquoise, turquoise overspray. Probably see it on that ceramic insulator. So that gives me a good indication of the initial paint color. That's pretty cool. Um, this, uh, see this guy, this transformer has Transformer has a square nut on the bottom, so that's indicative. It's not a hex nut. I'm gonna see if I can get that unscrewed and uh, pull that guy out of there. Maybe we can read the date on him. We'll see if we can get you in there. Just trying to uh, loosen it up there with a the nut, but it wasn't having it. I think I need to get a grinder to get that thing out of there, so I can't really get an impact uh, impact wrench in there. Uh, but anyway, I did uh, notice down here. I was digging with this, these wires and I pulled out this. Uh, it is indeed. A photoelectric sensor. If you can read this, 
this photoelectric switch. It's broken, obviously. But, uh... But yeah, looks like it was sticking out through that hole earlier. So it would turn itself, turn the sign on when the, when the light gets dim. Alright, well that's probably about it for this one. Uh, the walk around video. Um, thanks for joining me. Hit subscribe for future updates on the restoration process for the neon related videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.